What is up, y'all? What's going on? This is um the top 10 greatest world plays in League of Legends history. What doggy? My dog just be so confused half of the time. Let's watch it though. Uh, let's see what's up. Let's see what these hey best guys, world Daniel plays Rosen are. For I'm gonna understand some of this, um, some of the stuff now because I've played League of Legends, so I know some of the characters now, so I ain't gonna be completely lost on shit. With the 2019 League matter. of Legends World Championships coming up, we want to take a look back and make a list of what we consider to be the best world's plays of all time. Now, you might remember that we did a list similar to this a few years ago, but we thought it was about time for an update. So let's get on to what you actually came here to see. The best world's plays of all time. Let's see them, baby. The best world plays. Kicking off our list at number 10 is Rapid Star's Requiem Quadra Kill from Game Rapid 1 of the Stars, Season 2 Requiem World Championship Quadra Final. Kill. It's Rapid Star! I'm not gonna play, he got on these damn shades. Trailing in the early game against perennial underdogs Taipei Assassins, Cloud Templar found TPA with a clutch four-man Curse of the Sad Mummy, but the barrage of CC wasn't enough to stop TPA, who looked strong enough to endure and win the fight. He got your asses. Wow, it's crazy how different this game looks years ago. Wow. Cause what I'm playing now don't look shit like this. Wow, that is crazy. But it was Rapid Star's positioning that allowed him to drown the enemy in his defile. When he finally went down, what else could he do but hit that big red Requiem button, neatly securing a Quadra Kill with a little added help from Madlife. Azubu began to claw back into the game off the back of this fight, eventually winning in 40 minutes. Coming Good in job. at number 9 is Smeb pulling the trigger on the cleanest slicing maelstrom in the history of Pro League of Legends. It was in the group stage of Worlds 2016 where the stars aligned off the back of a shoddy engage from G2. Now, anyone else might have been hesitant to face dive a team of four alone, but as the best player at the oh, tournament, Smeb he was hesitant uh, to hold face on, let's see why not bad. dive a team of four alone, but as the best Damn, player at the tournament, he fuck Smeb all knew that this mm -mm, fight baby. was already over. You've already been used a trick. He's running away. Expect gets caught down. He's got it. Okay. PA, remember? Oh, but he needs to make it. Oh, oh, y'all got deleted. Baby, wow. Expect gets caught down. He's got it. Do y'all not see him here? Hit me, y'all. PA, remember? Baby. Yeah, y'all got fucking deleted. Goodbye. Control all deleted. As it swung the gold lead into wow. Rox's favor, and they closed out the game in a Who is that? I want to play them. Best they top fucked them. Laner in the world, Smab takes over the team fight. There are few things better than a legend showing that he's still got it, which is why we have the best 1v1 in world's history coming in at number eight. Dade was seen as the best player from the best region heading into Worlds 2014, whereas Peke was seen as being on the decline. So when he came face to face against Dade, he had a little something to prove, especially when you consider that Peke was using Dade's best champion. Dade found Xpeke with his pants down, and in 2014's Assassin meta, everyone thought he had Xpeke dead to rights. But a perfectly timed death mark, a cheeky flash, and a stroke of luck allowed Peke to survive with a sliver of health. Fights. Jeff just finishes training. Okay. Yeah, I see you oh, doing your shit. Fighting niggas fight. in the 1v1. Going down, but is gonna be Did He's your gonna shit, be period. Oh, Got your ass beat. Period. Lux. He did his shit. While Fnatic's short 2014 Worlds run spelled the end of Xpeke's tenure with the team, this one play proved that he could still stand alongside the best of them. Coming in at number 7 on our list is Imp and Mata's 2v3 against AHQ from the 2014 World Championship. The best Samsung bot lane White in the went world. into 2014 Worlds as one of the Korean favorites, and a big reason for that was that their bot lane, Imp and Mata, were dubbed the best bot lane in the world. The best and it didn't take long for them to prove that they were worthy of the moniker. And that's going to show himself, so he's going to push it out there. Oh, oh, no! oh, oh the hook coming in towards BT, they pulled him into tower range. Oh, they're going to finish mm, him off. One more auto up. attack would have done it. There is him going aggressive. He gets the kill on BT. Can he take on it? Oh, oh well, my! And now he's going to escape yes. the safety. Amazing! This was a play so perfect that it looks scripted. A true display of skill and teamwork on the fly. 
White went on to win the entire tournament, but no single play was more representative of Imp and Mata's skill than this. Good job. Amazing. Let's see it. Did I say 2014? Wow. Coming in at number six on our list is Huni's Riven Quadra Kill from Worlds 2015. From the beginning of this fight, the odds were against Fnatic. Both TPs from the top lane came in as Kakao approached for a gank. IG had the extra man and, by all accounts, should have won the fight. Even with both sides enduring only one death, Huni could have cut his losses and ran away. But he saw something that no one else did. Goes down, Zatai, gets a a up. Huni, okay, I see you. Yes. While Fnatic's 2015 died. Worlds run ended faster than they had hoped, a young Huni showed the world he's a true menace on the Rift. And no one play shows that better than this one. Unbelievable! At number Watch 5 on our list, we have The Shy, and his 1v5 Aatrox engage against G2 in the semi-finals of Worlds 2018. Let's see After it! After losing Ning in a Dragon Pit fight, IG were at a disadvantage and attempted to disengage the fight. The Shy, however, had his own plans, and gifted fans with one of the best balls-to-the-wall engages in League history. They already got the pick onto the enemy jumper. Oh, 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 so up. many people! That's the Aatrox Good damage! Job. And the Shy makes it happen! Love to see the Shy single-handedly eviscerated the health bars of three G2 members, giving IG the green light to come back in and clean up. Oh, oh, so many How y'all all get hit by that, though? That's the Aatrox well, ain't damage! Ain't y'all think to, like, go the, the other direction? makes it happen! The Shy finds everyone there. Rookie still hunting. Oh, Rookie makes it a double kill for himself. He cleans up perks and Damn. tragedy strikes for the EU LCS representatives. Rookie. Gotcha, oh, I'm asses. just so incredibly epic. No one can compare. Oh, really? Or are you just playing? Going into Season 3's World Championship, there were whispers of a young Chinese AD carry whose mechanics alone would make him the best in the world. And at the number four spot on our list is the play that put Uzi on the map. Uzi is coming in from the backside. Surprise! Here comes the vein. Kill for White. Sam's not going to escape this one. They focus down Uzi. Well, look at him. He's still alive. He's still surviving. He stays alive. Ace for Royal Club. What a he did his shit. amazing fight coming out. Oh, of okay. my God. The now iconic play you, happened in Uzi. only his second match oh. of the tournament against Chinese rivals OMG. He did, he should... Uzi found his team engaged on in the jungle, and in a prime position to flank, the AD carry did not miss his opportunity. This one. They focused down Uzi, but look at him! He's still alive! He's still surviving! He stays yeah. alive! Ace he got y'all. At number three on our list is an insane 2v4 from Worlds 2016, courtesy of Prey and Peanut show off their In game aggression. three of their semi-final series, SKT saw a fight that, on paper, should have gone their way. With Kuro, Smeb, and Gorilla falling, any other team would have cut their losses and run away. Instead of turning, Prey and Peanut decided to take the fight to SKT. Amongst all the disadvantages and variables, Prey and Peanut used aggression and raw mechanics to create a moment that no one could ever forget. But Prey, does he find the targets? Peanut has Guardian Angel. How's the 3v2? How much can they really get? Prey turns oh, Prey. a connector. Turn. Oh, he fucked y'all up. What else can he get? It's okay, be yes. And they, they, they still well. going. How much more can they get? The stun's coming in. Oh. 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 Watch that. Oh, yes. Hold on. I wanted to play this good when I played the game. Oh. Oh. And they live too? Mm. They beat y'all ass. They did that. Another play from that legendary 2016 Rocks vs. SKT series, our list just wouldn't be complete without Prey's cross-map Crystal Arrow, which is why it comes in at the number two spot on our list. In a jaw-dropping game two, Rocks found themselves in a situation to potentially end the game. With SKT in full retreat and Prey and Kuro breathing down their necks, Duke decided that a teleport back to base was the best option to save the game. Prey had other plans, however and launched an insane cross-map arrow to stop Duke dead in his tracks. Look at the arrow! He teleport! He got you! He's stuck down! He got you. It's now on wolf! It's a teleport coming in! You gotta be very accurate to hit that. Across the map. Oh, back on towards Prey. Push back yet again. But Spep's running low. But they get it! They're gonna win! The Nexus! They're trying to burn it down! Is this not gonna be enough? It's not! Rocks, Tigers, answer back with game two!
and they won the game too. I'll be, I'll be pissed. It is a shit. Atop our list, we have Ruler, conquering the SKT dynasty with a perfect chain of corruption on the king himself. And quite simply, there's no play in world's history as good as this one. With a world championship sized chip on their shoulders, Samsung Galaxy dominated SKT in the first two games of their 2017 World's Final Series. But in Game 3, the defending champs came out of the gate strong. Samsung clawed their way back to even gold with SKT, but Ruler took things into his own hands. And the rest, as they say, is League of Legends history. League of Legends history. Your 2017 world champion. Your 2017 world list. champion. Do you think that there's a world's play that we left off that deserves to be on the list? Make sure to hit us up in the comments and let us know. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you next time. Okay. I actually recognize some stuff that was happening. I'm proud. They did they shit though. Okay. Um, what's the call? What was I playing? I mostly play ARAM when I um when I stream it on Twitch. I mostly just play a little bit of ARAM. I'm only like level. 11 or 12 something like that it's whatever though i have fun nonetheless i have fun playing the game it's the game is very addictive though so i might take a little break before i get too addicted but it's pretty fun though anyways uh let me know if you like these um these types of videos i may do some more and let me know what else you want me to see and i will see you all in the next one to then peace out